It is a beautiful winter's evening. You are all cozy inside of a tavern deep within the winter court of the Feywild. And since last year this time, you have been on many adventures together. Uh, stories that bards all across Avantris will tell from this day to the end of days. Just not on our Twitch channel. This one, however, will be told in that <coughs> way. As you find yourselves sitting around the hearth, enjoying a nice cup of hot Jones, oh. you reminisce about this time last year and the adventures that you had been on and what brings you to this place yet again. This year, you have been summoned by the Holly King himself. You are to be the celebratory guests at the very end of the Yuletide Festival, 12 straight days of merriment and joy, culminating in a large festival on Yuletide Eve, where you will be pronounced as heroes and saviors of the Feywild for the things that you have done in this place. Uh, as sneezes are heard all around, this time of year people find themselves awfully sick and colds abound. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you are eager for what is going to happen here. Oh. This is cozy and warm. You hear carol carolers outside, the smells of uh, fires roaring all across this small village you found your in, yourselves in. You know that you have <clears throat> you haven't come for the full 12 days of the Yule Festival. It has been in, um, uh, it has been happening over the past, uh, over the past nine days. There are, there are three days left of this festival. And you are making your way, um, through a chain of villages to get to the Holly King's home, the castle at the top of the hill, uh, where you will spend Yuletide Eve with the Holly King himself. And <clears throat> you are planning to make your, your trip through four towns over the next two days um, before you reach Yuletide Eve at the Holly King's home. And uh, you are going to be meeting and signing autographs and lauded as celebrities. And you're quite excited. But tonight is your last night of rest in this unknown town in the woods of the Winter Court. Your last night to fully rest before your job begins. What do you do? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was very distracted about that chicken that whole time that I was. Yeah, I was nervous. Oh, well. I was nervous. Yes, Charles is. Biffy. Charles oh. was my father, the name. I thought that was just the long version of your actual name. That's what my father would say. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What do you prefer? I prefer your grace or your lord or your liege after I took out Crampith and won that plot of land in the, in, in the, the Feywild. Oh no, is this canonical? And became a lord, a minor lord. Not much more than a landed knight, truth be told. <laughs> my liege. Thank you. It is kind of nice being the heroes and saviors of the fair wild for things I am not aware of. Yeah, this spiked, uh... Oh, it's not spiked. There's no alcohol in this town. There actually hasn't been alcohol in any of the areas that you've traveled to in the fair wild, but, um... Oh, fuck. Oh, I to you, say. <laughs> you are, at this point, you are withdrawing very hard from your, uh, usual <laughs> amount of alcoholic, uh, environment. Well, I mean to say this thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. talking so loud. What? You've been really irritating me, Bitsy! I'm sorry. You don't shut the fuck up, ever! That's not true. I, you know what? We've all been thinking, and I've been saying it. Bitsy, you're the one that's holding us back the whole time because you don't stop talking about the fact that there's no booze allowed here in this fey while. You want some booze? Yes! Oh, thank goodness. 
Little small of you. Uh, <coughs> it's it's a uh, grain alcohol. It, it has no smell. Well, usually I use it for like medicine and poultices and all kinds of other medicine <coughs> like herbalistic type of operations and stuff. But if you really need it, I, I'll give you a little bit. I guess I can nurse at it. <laughs> 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 Chuckles! That was really mean! It's Yuletide! We have to be nice to each other! At Bitsy, what, what was in, in the flask that you uh, gave to... Grain alcohol for like... Can you roll a constitution saving throw at disadvantage for me, please? Oh. Fourteen. Okay, thank you. Huh? Dorbeck was saying we have to be really nice to each other because it's Yuletide. That's the magic of the season. I'm sorry, Bitsy. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> I didn't have my happy juice with me. <coughs> now, now Chuckles is feeling real nice. Good. And now suddenly I learned the, the spirit of December ween and Yuletide. Can I have my flask back? Hold on. <laughs> I gotta make sure there's uh, nothing left. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Here we go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, I need you to roll a d12 for me, please. <laughs> uh, Chuckles, d12 for me, please. I'm gonna roll a squishy one. Four. Uh, <laughs> you immediately die. I need you to uh, roll a d100 for me, please. You, you Jesus. have not. You have not been in the Feywild for that long. It's just straight up ethanol. You're just dead. You have not been in the Feywild for that long. You, you were provided a. Um, you were provided a. Um, an entrance to the Feywild through the magic, the magics only uh, capable, um, capable of, uh, only possible through the, only possibly created from an archfey. I don't know how I'm trying to say this. God, my mind doesn't work. Um, you were led into the Feywild in a special way, in a way only an archfey could allow you entry. Um, and though you did not meet the Holly King when you were provided entrance here, it is through his magic that the gateway was open. You have only been in this part of the Feywild. This is a significantly different place from the place that you had been last year around this time. Um, this is much deeper into the Winter Court where the fir trees are incredibly thick. Um, the snow is... Um, three to four feet high in some places. And the layout of the land is, uh, the areas of population are far more spread out and secluded, but it is cozy and it feels safe. And you have not fully adapted to the magics here yet, but you have noticed that it seem, and you had been warned in the letter that had been given to you, that the magics in the air all around you are greatly affected by the deeds that you do, whether you choose to be naughty or choose to be nice. And it seems that Chuckles and his outburst at Bitsy and then his drinking of all of her, um, her grain alcohol that she used for many things. Those were a couple of naughty deeds done in secession, mm -hmm. and that he is paying the price, not only for the fact that it's basically 99% rubbing alcohol inside of that flask, but also for the choices that he has chosen to make. As you watch, as Chuckles' face begins to twist and contort, uh, before the blood begins to leave his face, he goes a pale white. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Somebody roll him on his side. And he chuckles, appears to have fallen asleep. I, I walk over to him to uh, to to do what Bitsy says, roll him on his side. And <laughs> the second that I go to touch him to make sure you that he's dead, you can feel a strange coldness come I, I, I turn to look at Bitsy. Uh, <laughs> it's too late. What? what? He's 
dead. He's dead. You don't even need to make a medicine check to be able to see up close. He is definitely. I stand dead. back up like after crash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. There it is. You know what? Even oh, if you dead, even dead, 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 dead people void their mouths. It's all but confirmed. Oh, yeah. There it is. Dorbeck has seen this before. It's a good thing he was wearing such baggy pants. <laughs> Dormek, this is unsurprising. <laughs> the, the sprite that runs this in does not look happy as she gets a mop and bucket and begins to don her apron to come over and Oh, is this for, oh, God. We're really sorry about Junkles. He must have been really backed up. We're really sorry. She, um, you can't really see her from, from where she's at in her little cleaning closet, but you see her little hand, like, motion to you that, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Thank you. Be humor. And if I could get another hot cocoa. (laughs) She flips you off. Oh, that was an illegal time spirit. (laughs) This seems a little fishy, don't you think? Are you giving him something to drink? And he just fucking dies! Can you roll a d100 for me, Mike? I already did. Oh, what is it? 73. Thank you. To be fair, Briggsy, Chuckles' health was tenuous at best. 73, you said? Yep. Uh, you want to roll again for me, please? Okay. What are we going to do? Go to all these towns and sign an autographs and stuff. Nobody knows who we are except for Chuckles. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, we just the rest. Oh no! Uh, Eighty-five. I can roll a couple times if you want. No, no, eighty-five's oh. fine. It's just that what you got was human, and I wasn't interested. In oh. That. <sighs> you endure uh, chuckles last moments as he evacuates his bowels. Uh, the sprite known to you is uh, Karaya Mary. Uh, makes her way over, uh, singing uh, "All I Want Is uh, All I Want for Christmas Is You." She's been singing this just on repeat from the moment you walked in here, Ugh. and you're honestly not that frustrated that she's having to clean this, clean this up because Jesus Christ, would she just stop singing? But she doesn't. As she cleans up your friend, and as she finishes, um, she squeaks and rushes away. And you begin to notice that Chuckle's body begins to shift and change. Uh, where there had been his normal clown-like appendages. What? What were you just a human beforehand? Like, what? What is Chuckles? I was a clown. Yes, I know you're a clown. <laughs> uh, but did yeah, we ever actually? He was a human. Actually, human, yes, a human yeah. Human. Um, yeah. his his human Close legs and human hands begin to change. As where there had once been Chuckles the clown, there's now Chuckles the Minotaur. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh. Holy crap, Bitsy! That alcohol evolves juggles! He turned into a big hairy thing, and it felt slightly different from you! Yeah, he looks really strong! Wow! What was in there? <gasps> Give me some! Is there any left, please? No, there isn't any left. You guys! <laughs> you guys! <laughs> Chuckles, are you okay? How do you feel? Oh god! Was that. Was that protein shake that you gave me? Look at my fucking gains! Oh my gosh! Oh no! <laughs> You've turned them into Moogles! Moogles? Moogles, Moogles is my name now. No, not Moogles! Moogles, Moogles! Bitsy, you have me a You really need to change your pants very quickly. <laughs> Where there had been pants, there are now just furry minotaur legs, and they are matted. <laughs> oh, even Dormek is disgusted by this. <laughs> <laughs> this is well, foul. I don't know who shit all in my fur. <laughs> Godhood is move with move. <laughs> I'm gonna start wrecking stuff. Why? To show you how strong I'm. I need you. I need you to roll. The, I need to roll you to roll another D12 for me. Oh please. no! Uh, I need to smash uh, five. Uh. 
Moogles is very funny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And as you watch, as Moogles, Moogles uh, begins to destroy things. I'm a god. Uh, once again, being very, very naughty. Um, the magics in this place infuse with his fur, and where there had been a minotaur, he begins to change. As you notice that oh, no. from Moogles, Moogles, he goes to Mucles, Mucles, and you see a barrel tabaxi standing here next to you, and you feel the need to mark your territory. Uh, I'm a golden living guy already. <laughs> Uh, the grain alcohol giveth and the grain alcohol taketh away. Are you sure that was grain alcohol? Give me that. Well, up the plane's a humanoid. <laughs> I'm suddenly a furry fellow. It just says grain How? alcohol on it, but the grain is on masking tape and I peel off the masking tape. This is wood alcohol! <laughs> this is literal poison! I've been giving people that all the time! <laughs> what do you mean wood alcohol? It's just wood alcohol! You're killing people with this, so... I mean, great transformations, too. Oh. Well, I feel less of a god, but... Uh, I gotta start pissing on stuff. <laughs> no, why? <laughs> no, why? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I'm so uh, into my hot cocoa. Come on, Betsy, look him in the eye. It's in his nature. It's, uh, yeah, you know, the frog and the scorpion already. <laughs> Uh, I have to say, out of character, your Snagglepuss impression has improved in a year. <laughs> Infinitely better. I, I pull it away. You deserve an Emmy for your Snagglepuss impression. Let me see if I can make it in the hot cocoa already. Now the hot cocoa's ruined. I try to fizzle the hot cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you didn't get it directly in, I feel like the hot <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I feel like your, your, your aim might not be the best, uh, but the table is <sighs> covered in this. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's just, it's probably not safe to drink. Uh, uh, well, time to get us an in already. Exit stage right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pushing me out to the side. <laughs> this is all the foundation. This is a nightmare. What are we gonna do about this? <laughs> Briggsy, stop him! Oh, how many towns do we have to get through? We have to go through four towns, and then we have to find a, our way up a hill in order to meet the Holy King. We're never gonna be heroes at this <laughs> rate. They're gonna kill us. We're gonna go through four towns and go up the hill in one one shot. I don't know how we're gonna do it. It's too much. <laughs> Well, that's why we started early already. <laughs> well, I don't want get started right good. away. <laughs> <laughs> For you yeah, this this actually is the first kind thing you've done. Is you're pissing around the foundation of her inn. Um, Kariah Mary hears you singing her song, and she is filled with Christmas joy as she leans out of the window and sings along with you. Um, your, the sounds of your singing echoing down the hill and towards the waiting town below, the town that you know that you're headed to the very next morning, the town of Jingleburg. We gotta make it to Jingleburg in the morning. But what if we left now? We could get it done real fast. <laughs> it's really dangerous to travel at night. The snow is very high. We could break a leg. That's what the Illuminati want you to think. Traveling at night is the safest time. I mean, maybe, but uh, it doesn't add up. Dornbeck knows better than to travel at night. What about all the highway men and cutthroats? Yeah, Dornbeck tries to travel at night and people run from Dornbeck. See, that's perfect. Oh, that That'll is keep perfect. us safe. No, it makes Dornbeck sad. What's everyone running from? Then Dornbeck runs too and they run faster. And Dornbeck's like, why are we running? <laughs> And I'll let's do that, and I'll be a big scary crocodile zombie man! And his pants are full of shit! <laughs> that's perfect. And I'll just be like, ah! Oh, that's brilliant. Let's go. If we got four towns to get through, we better get started well, right now. Well, narratively, there's a reason we should stay tonight. I say we go right now! <laughs> well, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of stone and wood I gotta get through! <laughs> 
to have him bring out a couple of hot Jones even. You can piss on the way. Maybe even a couple of hot Jerry even. <laughs> You can start pissing from here, and then we'll hit the other towns, and eventually it'll be like, it'll be like in the... Like a Mobius Mobius piss! (laughs) Sure, a Mobius. Mobius. Okay, Torvac guesses we can leave now, but don't say Torvac didn't warn you. Kariah? Yeah? I'll take my hot cocoa to go. I don't want a lot for Christmas, but then <laughs> and she makes you a to go hot cocoa. Thank you. Are oh, you welcome? Do you have any extra wood alcohol? Are you sure you guys want to be going and doing that? No. Okay, no, all right. Good night. But I'm being Tori's <laughs> being outvoted. You're such a sheep. Would you think that traveling at night's dangerous? No, you were just told to stay here by the Holly King, so. If you want to defy him on your first night here, yeah, that's your that's your choice. Oh fuck! You oh, told us that. This was a decree. <laughs> Guys, that sounds pretty serious. I mean, you can go to Jingleburg right now, but no one's gonna be awake. And if you travel through Jingleburg, and it's supposed to be the day where all of them are supposed to see you in the morning and get your autographs, and all the children get to spend time with you, but you're not there because you went through in the middle of the night while everyone's sleeping, that's not gonna bring a lot of joy to the town, do you think? Well, shit! I'll throw my hot cocoa <laughs> down to the ground. It spike it. All, yeah, I'll spike it. Uh, Bitsy, I need your old D12. <clears throat> hey, I would just cleaned up your fur. God damn Two. it! Oh, I'm sorry. I just got so upset. I, I, I yeah, no, you up. did get really upset. Now look at you. I need you to roll a D4. Oh, no. Oh, no. A that's, four. That's, that's a, a D8. D8. So the four, four is still valid. Be the four is still divided valid. Divided by two. Two and three is what? Is two. Four. I don't even know what a D4 looks like. Also four. Fate. You begin to change your body, morphing into that of many of the humanoids that you've seen here, the Eladrin. <laughs> Um, you find yourself in the form of a winter Eladrin. Your hair is white with uh, highlights of pale blue. Um, your mustache is lined with a permanent frost. Your Lucky. skin is a uh, mix of um, shimmering grays and uh, pale blues as well. But this is... This isn't a standard Eladrin. Your emotions have gotten out of control. So though you are a winter Eladrin, you're overcome by your primal nature as a winter Eladrin. Your bitterness is coming to the forefront. You radiate a feeling of gloom. You cannot stop weeping. No. I'll, uh, as I'm transforming, uh, I'm, as Bitsy racing towards the uh, pool of hot cocoa, trying to clean it, uh, and, and, and as you get that- to it, you're you're radiating this gloom and this this uh, frigid air. Um, <laughs> that's a that's a refrigerator, and it made me laugh when I said frigid air. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Um, but as you do reach the uh, hot cocoa, you immediately turn it into cocoa ice, <gasps> uh, like a like one of those uh, delicious creamy cocoa popsicles, and uh, it is it is now this um, frozen sheet of cocoa on the floor. My God, <laughs> frozen, cold. Lost, like my heart. Oh, oh no. Oh, he, he's like that guy who everything touches turns to gold and he can't eat anything and then he starves to death and dies. Oh, what's uh. up? I'm hearing about a cold frigid heart even. And as you walk into the door, you immediately feel your feralness begin to wane as your tabaxi fur and limbs begin to retract and you return to your natural form, that of a minotaur. (laughs) (laughs) What's up? Uh, Moogles is back. Moogles has returned. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how, how long? So you're Moogles for only like 10 minutes. How long do you think you're going to be Moogles for? 
I don't know. I think I've ascended to God, dude. <laughs> it would probably be forever. I'm a, a brazen brass bull, golden calf, golden idol. By the way, I own this place, Cry Mary. <laughs> By the law, the pissing off stuff. <laughs> She ignores you and is cleaning up the uh, frozen Sweet. chocolate. You're cleaning it up for when I take it over later. <laughs> anyway. It's kind of hard to argue in that logic. Yeah. Uh, Dorvay's convinced. And, I mean, I don't know. I think they're both kind of hot right now. What do you think? I don't have the confidence reading of both of them. And... It's true. I feel like a bitchy, I can fix him, you know what I mean? Dorvay has never been that confident. I feel like I want to be the chosen one and you know, develop a talent for archery and get kidnapped by him, you know what I mean? And maybe develop a slow romance and some sort of prisoner castle thing. And you're not thing. conventionally pretty, you feel like people would be really stunned by your beauty. Definitely. I'm definitely not like hot, but if you like take a second and look at me, it's like, oh. Ah. Look at those two different kind of oh, eyes. Oh, if, if she takes her glasses off, the, if, if, if Lindsay <laughs> takes his glasses off. I take my glasses off and I uh, twirl my non-existent yeah. hair. <laughs> uh, Torbeck knows that he's gold and frozen, but he's kind of smoldering right now. Uh, I know, it's kind of it's weird and confusing if you ask me. <laughs> Do not look at me. He told me not to, and All I kind of want to do it. Is despair in my heart. Oh, oh and he's a huge quill. <laughs> he's poetic. Oh, and he's fought for. I'm gonna walk over to Bitsy and smack the quill and the book out of out of her hand. Oh, oh. to cure your broken heart, you need to lawyer up and hit the gym. <laughs> hey. Pushed the things out of my hands. <laughs> There's he, only one way to have it. Just as love was pushed out of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting so good! I need to do some push ups. You were gifted these abilities. I lost everything. As you, so, as you say this, I still stream down your face. Who oh, did he lose? Dormak uh, missed the beginning of the season. Oh, I think maybe it was the prince that they mentioned oh. last season or like two seasons ago, I think. Dormak's really got to get caught up. Well, we think he's dead, but actually he just fell down a well for a few years. No! Yeah. Oh. Why are you still looking at me? Oh. Oh. What are you thinking right now, like internal monologuingly? I must go to the window. <laughs> Oh, what are you thinking about, though, like, in this moment? Yeah, tell, don't show. Yeah, Darkness. Wanna... Oh. Despair. Oh. Gloom. <laughs> He's so mysterious. The bitter sadness that echoes in my heart. Oh, soft side. Everything I've lost. Briggsy. And those things that I will never, ever gain. Oh, and a poet, too. Briggsy, roll a d12 for me, please. He's so brave, but so vulnerable at the same time. A Torbeck, I'd also like you to roll a d12. Seven. Oh, this is unfortunate. Five. Both of you have been um, really accepting of Bitsy's new form. And Bitsy is quite very clearly sad in this Eladrin body, overcome by these Eladrin emotions. and. You have uh, shown interest in her poetics and in her um, in these changes that have overcome her and been nothing but supportive. And the magics of the Feywild have reciprocated. Uh, Briggsy, I need you to roll a d20 for me, please, and let me know if it's odd or even. Oh. <coughs> even. Even. Okay. Then I need you to roll a d100 for me, please. Oh, God, how do I do that? Also, <clears throat> welcome, raiders. Very good to see you. Welcome! Hello! Oh, welcome. Thank you, Carl Sagan42. <laughs> we, are, we are playing our yearly Yuletide special one-shot uh, that's very wacky and crazy, and uh, shenanigans are about to develop here. 94. Oh, boy. You... <clears throat> you feel a... Um, you feel a heaviness at your side. 
a heaviness in your uh, in one of the pouches that you carry. Uh, you open again. it up and you find a very small wrapped gift. <gasps> and it says to Briggsy from the spirits of the Feywild. <gasps> and as you open it up inside you find a beautiful shimmering silver ring. What? You immediately attune to a ring of warmth. Oh, Briggsy always gets the best stuff! Wow. Gifts from nowhere? That's better than Moogle's ever got. Moogle's had a fight for everything he had. At least you have your physical health. <coughs> oh, no! No one saw yeah. this development! Oh. With all the gear I'm blasting, <laughs> my health's never been better. <laughs> I'm sure I won't get a heart attack again. <laughs> uh, Torbeck. Yes. You feel, though you don't find yourself gifted with oh, anything um, uh, physical, <gasps> you feel your luck has changed, but not just your luck, that you can affect the luck of others. Mm. You get a free reroll of any die, oh. and when you use it, you can choose someone else to get a reroll as well. Awesome. Oh. Do I have a time limit on how long I can? All right, I'm gonna bank that bad boy. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Dormac is suddenly changed. Oh, did you get a cool ring too? Dormac got something less material and a bit more profound. So what you're AK worse. And way lamer. Chuckle, can I be a D12? D20 or D12? I got born this for at least 20 months. I can hear positivity in your voice. You earn hope. <laughs> the most important thing of all. Uh, Thank you, Bitsy. Torment Ten. was hoping you would understand. I understand more than you do. You're know. feeling very naughty, baby. <laughs> what? Is that period? Yeah. You're feeling very naughty, baby. Good oh, luck. Yeah. Dot dot dot. This is this is open to your interpretation. I was thinking of Austin Powers when I wrote it. But <laughs> That's it's really so I. Naughty, baby. <laughs> hey, Mer uh, Ramaya, whatever your name is. <laughs> How about a little smooth? <laughs> Ramaya, <Ramiah>, Mary. <laughs> hey. Moogles, Moogles here. Spill a little naughty, if you know what I mean. Dormant <laughs> uh, <laughs> doesn't like where this is going. To I'm gonna go into a comedic bed that's a bit more suited for the 90s and not quite adaptable to modern audience. <laughs> Oh, the writers are undoing all of Moogle's character development over the last season! Why would they do this? Moogle's made it so far! You know, I read an article that the writer's strike really hit this hard, oh. so they probably just got lazy. Yeah, by naughty, I mean, uh, with our current sensibilities, more like, uh, I'm gonna open the window, it's gonna get a little colder. <laughs> I immediately jump to the window. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at the way the moonlight and the flakes just kind of waft around her. Oh, this would be chilly, but I have a ring of warmth. <laughs> And you, you do notice that as you say this, Torbeck, that <laughs> Pariah Mary is not paying any attention to Moogles, but she is staring longingly at Bitsy. Join the club! <laughs> what does the Ring of Warmth do? I just put it on. You can look it up at the Ring of Warmth. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like you, just you, from the DMG! Yeah, you automatically attune to it. It's just your Ring of Warmth. Alright, uh, I'm gonna Google it. Hey, uh, Kariah Mary, let's ditch this sin. <laughs> You just really want more dreads, don't we? <laughs> Mike is going all in, and I'm it's here for it. I'm fucking here for it. It's compounded. I, and I'm telling you why. I'm telling you why. Uh -huh. Yeah. She she turns to look at you. Roll a persuasion check at disadvantage. This guy. This uh. This Aladrin's just not. You know. Didn't really listen to. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh no. Pers persuasion. Eight. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think I'm really all that interested. I mean, for one, your nose hasn't stopped bleeding since you came inside from pissing all over my house. <laughs> yeah, I'm covered in blood and piss. I'm still like a real man. I'm still cleaning your shit off of my hands. And shit. Don't forget to mention shit. 
I can oh, hear boy. your heart beating from across the room. You may be a minotaur, but I know what testosterone does to your manhood. Oh! Oh! Well, no, it's just because I'm tastefully covered in hair. And I personally think... I'm looking for someone who's a little more thoughtful and in touch with their emotions. It's supposed to be such a holly jolly time of year, and yet all I feel is infinite sadness pressed down upon the finite me. Oh, oh the finite you. You know, Karaya's got a point. Torbeck's vibe is usually more like crab rangoons and goth chicks, but <laughs> this new bitch, he's really doing something for Torbeck. The rangoon. Such a perfect form. Oh. I do not deserve oh. Oh, yeah, something but... so beautiful as a rangoon. <laughs> By the way, I'll have a rangoon over my hammy. <laughs> Why, why are you in the kitchen? For Moogle's Moogle. I'm sorry, are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah, if you're, if you're still serving, if you're still serving breakfast. I'll have a rangoon over my, my hand. Isn't it two in the morning? We never know. It's worth a shot. Oh, and I'll have breakfast for dinner. Yeah, Can we go to the world? You never I'm, know. I'm sorry, the kitchen's closed. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, the kitchen's closed. The kitchen's closed. Gosh, all the tips I learned online from those fedora guys are really not working. I'm gonna need you to roll a d12 for me. I'm peacocking and nagging and nagging. Why doesn't it work? All of my, all of my tricks. Oh, that's, that's a four, Mookus, Mookus. It's a four? It's a four. You immediately die. <laughs> Your heart finally gives out. It explodes in your chest from all the steroids. <laughs> this is the big is one. Anyone else's shoulder really hurt? <laughs> oh, it's too real. I think it's because I just think I think I messed up my shoulder. Do the last. Oh God! Uh, oh, 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 your face. <laughs> Mugo! And like all things, here comes the most inevitable part of all. <laughs> oh god. It's so much worse than a Minotaur. This is bullshit. <laughs> oh, I should have seen that one coming. Can you please roll a D100 for me, please? Do you have the expanded list? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, that's really funny. What is this Minotaur stuff? 94! <laughs> oh, that's gotta be some wacky. <coughs> and they would tell you how they shit themselves. Can you, uh... I don't put those in that in the song. <laughs> oh, let me see here. Oh, this is, this, yep, this is different. My cough has been under control uh, for days until I stepped into the for studio. Me, please? Yep. D20? Yeah. Holy smokes, what is happening? 14. Here again, Gil. I just, I swear to God. That's nice. No <laughs> yes. way. 13 to 14 is Kenku. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth opens. <laughs> I mimic the last the thing. The only thing you've heard. The only thing I've heard in this new consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> Creature awakened. <laughs> you have passed beyond the veil and are now back, back to <coughs> this terrible mortal life. And as the f as uh, Karaya Mary finishes cleaning up yet again the filth of Chuckles the Clown, um, and the final scents fade from him, uh, you feel your body returning, Bitsy, and you are. Um, you feel yourself back in your Oh really? I was gonna do the body. entire Alanis Morissette song uninvited now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. Oh. Kenkles. But you you're not allowed. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm back. Uh, I feel cheery and better again. Uh, I'm back! I feel 
terrible mortal life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You must be one of those cursed bird things that can only say stuff that it hears sometimes, and it's terrible. Only say stuff terrible. Oh, we probably should give some background. The folks that don't know Dungeons and Dragons lore of what a Kenku is. What's that? Well, why don't you tell us? I don't, I'm asking you. I thought the Illuminati was like, they're the cursed bird people. But actually, they created everything and they mixed their genome with every one of us, and at any second we could die and turn into them, bringing them back. You're thinking of a cat coon. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it's a raven person that can only mimic. Oh. It can only mimic whatever it hears? Whatever it hears. So that only it mimic whatever it hears? <laughs> and it's really sad because they don't have their own voice. Oh, that is sad. It raises the question, who are they really? Are you just a mirror held up to society and you only reflect what you see? Nightmare. <laughs> That way, 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 way above, above my ears. I don't know what you're talking about. We should give him some words so that he can communicate. That would be the nice thing to do. Now he's got a point. Nice it's, thing to do. It's not just a mimic thing. They can't even have a single original thought in the entire world. So playing as a Kenku PC means you can't come up with a, with a plan. You can't contribute to your party in any way. It really brings into the question of free will at all. Terrible mortal life. Torbeck <laughs> starting to freak out. This is up. Hold on, hold on. Bathroom. Bathroom. <laughs> okay, I think that we got one. Okay, I think that we got one. Uh... <laughs> oh. A uh, biblioteca. Biblioteca. Oh. Biblioteca. <laughs> biblioteca. <laughs> Torbeck's got one. Banana hammock. Banana hammock. <laughs> biblioteca. <laughs> <laughs> See, Dad, he's communicating already. I think, I think he's got it. Biblioteca hammock. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all those young children screaming chuckles chuckles are going to be very <laughs> disappointed when they show up for the autograph signing tomorrow morning. Uh, well, hungry! Hungry! Uh, what else? What do you want to know if you want a Kenku? Chuckles chuckles! Hungry! Oh, uh, Gariah? Could we yes. get some food stuff, maybe? She already mm. said the kitchen is closed, and Torbeck thinks that actually means they just lost all our orders. <laughs> maybe we could go in there and cook for ourselves so that they don't have to work. Oh, it's just me back here, and I've been too busy to keep the oven on cleaning up your friend's fecal matter. <laughs> it's been just so much. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a lot. Yeah. Well, Bitsy, to be fair, one time I tried to order a slice of cheesecake, and they told me the grills were off, so they couldn't give it to me. <laughs> Oh, you know, that makes supposed sense. to make a cheesecake if the grills are off. You know, I tried to have it make sense, <laughs> but you know, it, it, the oven's off. They can't possibly cut a slice of cheesecake. Yeah, chuckles, chuckles, one cheesecake. <laughs> well, you heard Brazy, the ovens are off. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. That Ter math adds up. Terrible morsel life. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, no, I mean, we have to really sell him his chuckles tomorrow. Why don't we give him some, like, classic chucklesy things? Uh, classic chucklesy things. You know what I mean? Um, uh, what about, what does he like? Oh, uh, he like? whiskey sours and plates of walnut brownies. Whiskey <laughs> sours and plates of walnut brownies. <laughs> well, no, you got to say it funnier than that. Oh, you got to say it funnier than that. No. Oh, Torbeck remembers that sometimes Chuckle says, What's your favorite balloon animal? Oh, yeah. And then he goes, And it's always just a snake. <laughs> Almost every time. What? What's your favorite balloon animal? <laughs> oh, this my beak keeps popping. This balloon. is just oh. depressing. Oh. I don't think you can do balloon animals. When Torment hears it back, Torment's impression of Jungles isn't very good. <laughs> Tor Torment thought he was doing pretty good. That's how you sound most of the time. That's, that's, what, I, that's what Torment sounds like? <laughs> yeah. That's what Torment sounds like? Yeah. I mean, it is exactly what you sound like. Ah! It's extremely.
extremely accurate. It's, it's mimicry. It's perfectly accurate. Yeah. Dorbeck started to understand why people run. <laughs> how do you sound to you? <laughs> you? You find that you have the ability to, to, to verbally create what you think you sound like to people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it would very much be very <coughs> similar to that the Winter Aladrin, where it's this sophisticated, flowery. Uh, Torbeck. Torbeck believes that Torbeck sounds like this. <laughs> Torbeck is refined and sophisticated. This is all that Torbeck ever hears coming out of Torbeck's mouth. I don't understand why they run from me in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Torbeck is nothing but kind. Torbeck says, please don't run, he's just Torbeck. Where are you going? Torbeck wants friends. Stop yelling, Torbeck! <laughs> <laughs> Handsome, well groomed. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad, guys. Well, maybe he'll transform back. I mean, I was only one of those sad Aladdin. Gidget is closed. <laughs> Terrible mortal. <laughs> it is sad. Uh, I could try to whip something up, Cry. Could I just go in there and try to make something up for 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 poor uh, Bert, the Kenku Chuckles? Poor Kanku Chunkles wants cheesecake. <laughs> We'd also settle for chicken piccata. Ooh, full okay, plates so of chicken piccata. Full plates of chicken piccata. Full, full dinner plates, none of those small salad plates. Yeah, dinner plates. Ceramic. Yeah, dinner plates. It better be ceramic. Okay, so here's the thing, all right? I've cleaned up his shit twice. He's pissed all over my foundation. He, he broke my coffee table. You see that thing that he smashed there? Then he tried to hit on me in a very unbecoming fashion mm. while I was staring longingly at you, and now you're not even the person I was falling in love with now I don't know what I want for Christmas because it's not you anymore like anyone would be I'm flattered by your fascination with me <laughs> sorry I, I'm still stuck on uninvited I really like that song oh, did you just right. list what every drunk god does at this inn I look outside and there's like eight guys just <laughs> pissing on the foundation of the inn <laughs> look we, we, we can clean it up and we can cook we you don't have to do anything. You've already, You've already been so nice. You've already eaten. It's like two o'clock in the morning. Are you gonna go to bed at any point? Well, after a full plate of chicken piccata. <laughs> you already had a full, full plate, plate of chicken piccata earlier today. <laughs> you need a second one. It was good. <laughs> I want more would capers. Never turn down chicken piccata. Do you want me to piccata. get you just a jar of capers? I had better than nothing. I wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> well, I have one of those in the pantry, and I don't need to cook it, so I don't have to worry about the grill being on like I would if I wanted to make you a slice of cheesecake. <laughs> After a second plate of chicken piccata, we'll go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> on the list of things that are naughty, turning down chicken piccata is like a top three. <laughs> I'm not offering chicken piccata, but I am offering a jar of capers. Well, if we're negotiating two jars of capers. I think I only have one jar of capers left. We'll take four three jars of capers. I think I only have one jar of capers one left. One jar of capers and a uh, bag of flour. And a full plate. And a side of elk. I don't have a side, what? But if Fantasy Tavern doesn't have a side of elk, to bottom for? Maybe he's just got some like, big turkey turkey stew. Plums. <laughs> roasted quail. Oh. I, I don't remember saying that. Where did that come from? Chicken pagoda. Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh. Didn't play chicken he's, he's back. You know what? She holds up a sign. Kitchen's closed. <laughs> he slams the door and walks out. I bet she's rolling a d20 right about now. <laughs> Well, for Pacey's sake, I think we just go to bed. Yeah, hopefully Chuckles is fixed in the morning, or we're all doomed. What's the name of the village we're going to? Something Berg? Jingleberg. Jingleberg. Oh. Chuckles, Chuckles are doomed. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be alright. I'm gonna go see if I can steal them capers. Oh, good idea. Ski, steal them and take them to the room. We'll eat them in there. Steal them capers. I'm gonna see if I can steal the capers real quick and sneak them into our room before we go to bed so we can enjoy an evening of caper evening <laughs> eating before we go to sleep. Chuckles, can I have you roll another D12 for me, me please? Yes! You had, you already had one. I, I'm Nine. telling off how naughty you guys are being. And you don't realize how naughty you are. Nine? Nine. 
<laughs> you begin Krampusing. <laughs> you, you feel that whatever you ate earlier, that first plate of chicken piccata, didn't sit well with you. Because your stomach is cramping horribly. You can all audibly hear the gurgling as his body is trying to process whatever was in that chicken piccata. This is what doorbell sounds like! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! When he does it, it's so grating! You yeah. uh, barely touch the bathroom! Dormant <laughs> sounds like that! Dormant! Stop! Stop it! How are you guys dealing with Dormant? You get used to it after a while. It's kind of melodic in a nice way. I don't know. Dormant! What? Uh, what? Yeah, 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 you said Dormac! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I, go to my room. I sneak into the kitchen, I steal capers, and if I can find some tums, I'll also grab those. So you can definitely not find tums. Tums don't exist in the same person. This is a fantasy tavern. In a medieval setting, there are no tums. <laughs> Maybe you asked for fantasy tums, idiot. I want fantasy tums. Roll a stealth check, and I will say you can roll it at advantage because Chugles Chugles is making so much noise, it would definitely uh, oh, cloud some of the noise that you would make, and then also an investigation. <coughs> okay. okay. God, that's funny. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, don't make this sound like that! <laughs> a, 20, a 21 for stealing. Mm -hmm. You're starting to regular don't make feelings! <laughs> This is just unnecessary! And a, uh, I, got, I rolled a 14, so I got a 13 for my investigation. Okay. You make your way into the kitchen, and you see that the, you see that the hearth is actually still on. Um, there is currently um, a delicious um, spiced pie that's baking inside of the oven. Uh, it looks like it's almost done. Um, she, she you also <laughs> you also see that there's a full plate of chicken piccata that's being warmed up, and it's about sprite size, so you imagine it's her dinner. Um, Son of a bitch! You see on the shelf that there are, in fact, three full jars of capers. Um, opening up the frigid air, uh, which is this just block of ice that has been uh, door has been carved into mm -hmm, it to keep mm -hmm, things cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, inside of there, there's some frigid air that's keeping. Um, Four slices of cheesecake, nice and cool. Son of a bitch. Um, you see that there is a large, um, there's a large uh, meat locker. Uh, half of it is very cool, keeping some meats frozen. But then you also see that there's a portion that's dried, uh, and you see a huge honk of haunch of elk meat. That's wrong. Um, that's that's hanging up in there. Um, tons of spices, and then um, the other thing that catches your attention that you couldn't smell um, from the main room over the smell of um, two loads of chuckle shit <laughs> was that there is a delicious Christmas stew that's being um, cooked, or Yuletide stew that's being cooked. Okay, well, just the one capers. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. I'll leave the piccata. That's nice. That's for her. That's for her. That's for her. I'm gonna have to take that pie, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was hot! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, shit! We just like hear No, you can't hear anything oh, over oh. the sound of. His stealth is determining how successful this collection is. What are you doing uh, while this is going I on? Dropped, I dropped the pie and I'll also grab the. <laughs> <It's just laughs> <laughs> 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 Sounds like that! Yes, yes! Dormac sounds like that! Stop it, you're hurting his feelings! Yeah. You, you have bitsy noises to use when she was going, oh. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> you mean the kiss is closed? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brixie! But no tongues, is what you're saying. No dog. Okay, well I'll just grab the capers and I'll grab You move aside a um elk. you move aside a um a ceramic pot um marked antacid. Mm -hmm. You move that to the side. I'm looking anywhere for Tom's but you can't this find shit? any. I can't find Tom's at all. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I, gra I, I grab the capers. 
I, I, I try to peel off the just, just the edge of like the elk so it looks like no, no, nothing's been taken. I put that onto a dinner plate and I'll, I'll hurry upstairs. Guys, I got elk and I got capers. Are you dragging an entire side of elk? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like uh, uh, gyro meated it. What? I got some elk. That's just a piece of elk, not a side of elk. It's the side of a side of elk. How are we gonna trade in the next town with just a piece of elk? Well, I thought we'd eat the elk. I thought, didn't that why you wanted the? I didn't know it was for trading. Was You've it? eaten elk? It tastes like shit. Was that the only elk there was? You took all of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> why would you want this? Uh, Who just trade for this. It was a cool fantasy, like merchant thing to say. I don't know. Oh. I bet she has salt pork and bags of sugar, too, As we can trade As you yell for. at Bitsy, who tried to do this nice thing for you, you feel the magic of the fa- magics of the Feywild overcome you. I need you to roll a d12 for me, please. How could you fuck up? As I transform... Maybe. A d12, oh, a d12, sorry. I'm sorry, thank you, Chuckles. I couldn't find any tums for you, but I found these capers. The capers, caper! (laughs) (laughs) This is my favorite one. Um, This is all that it says. You're an idiot, and you've licked a frozen bowl. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, guys. Uh, Anybody else want to go outside with me? Uh, uh, Briggsy, what, what's the matter? You don't sound right. No, it's real fun and cold outside. Briggsy. Yeah. Keeper? I just take my whole hand. Uh, <laughs> just, oh, uh, that's too many ones. That's you, so you do that, and I'll say for the sake of making this easy and brevity, um, you grab the mason jar. Um, it's written on there, made by Mason. Um, Mason's Mason. jar. Um, and as you as you take the lid off, this had been frozen, and you lick the caper juice off of the lid, and your tongue sticks directly right. to it. Uh, 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 oh, it's, 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 the skin is starting to ah! I close it and try to snap off my tongue. Oh. You successfully snap off your tongue. Ah! You watch as uh, Briggsy's tongue still attached ah. to the mason jar lid. I is, to um, it. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, floor. the tongue starts moving on its own as it starts to wiggle towards the fireplace. Oh, Briggsy, oh, what's going you, on? Thank you for the sh- sense of bravery. I couldn't get it off my tongue. I couldn't talk to you guys. Uh, oh, no, come back, come back. Uh, keepers. Uh, I want uh, a terrible uh, mortal life. And with that, I'm going to sadly, like, have a keeper and then just climb into bed. Gosh, I don't know if this is going to be okay. Oh, Torbeck <laughs> really hopes so. I feel bad stealing that elk, not knowing what it was for, and for stealing the capers, and for covering that tavern and all that shit. <laughs> what? Chris, <laughs> what do you do? All that shit was chuckles, chuckles. <laughs> yeah, but I feel partly responsible, because we're like a team. <laughs> chuckles, chuckles. <laughs> responsible. We're not a very good team. Everyone thinks we're <clears throat> heroes, but we're kind of a mess all the time. What do we even do? What? What do we even do to be heroes? <laughs> what? What do we even do to be heroes? <laughs> what? What do we even do to be heroes? Mountain Dew heroes? Oh! <laughs> Fuck! Right there! I take this mason jar and I pull out a little knife and I just like cut off. Uh, I like separate from my tongue and I stick it back on like I do my other body parts. (laughs) Ah. You stick it back on backwards though. So the tip is now stuck (laughs) in the middle. (laughs) I don't even know how to fucking represent that. (laughs) Mechanically. I'm kidding. Uh, You can talk normally. Does anyone even remember what we did to become heroes? No. I think Chuckles remembered. Hey Chuckles, do you remember what we did to become heroes? Oh god, the music's really loud. Hopefully it wasn't too loud. Krampus! Oh yeah! Frozen piss! (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh, so we did all that. We saved we saved the town from from a Krampus. <laughs> Mr. Witchmiser. Mr. Witchmiser. Oh Sounds yeah. Familiar. He was there. I'm not going anywhere near Gryla. <laughs> And Grotta was spoken of, Harley. Oh, it's all so fuzzy. Oh, oh like I can't remember ago. mine. And then there was that communist that we killed. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a communist. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> oh. Gosh, that feels like so long ago. Yeah. And then Torbeck pissed on the queen. Well. <laughs> <laughs> You're not denying it. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all coming back to me. That was a very strange time. Yeah, I can't hard to imagine. We've had some weird times in the Feywild, but that was a really weird day. Yeah, it's been a long year. Lots has happened. Well, with any luck, Chuckles will be okay in the morning, and we can sign whatever we need to sign. And we can do a good job together. Let's wake up and we'll make our way to Frostburg and we'll be all set. I think it's Jingleberg. What? Jingleberg. Yeah, Tor Torbeck what he thinks said. it's Jingleberg. Well, that's your right. Moon's out, raccoon's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll cozy up into, <laughs> into bed. Raccoon's <laughs> over. Good night, guys! Is it alright if I play with this part of your toe? <laughs> good, good night, guy! Good night, guy! Good night, guy! <laughs> good night, strange Kenku man! Good night, Kenku. We need a cool, like, Kenku version of Chuckles to name him like we had Mookles and Mukles. What about Ken Kenkles? Ken oh, there's Ken Kenkles! What about, like, Crocle? No. What about Cluckles? <laughs> Cluckles ain't bad. That's sort of chicken esque. That's we can funny. workshop it. Cluckles. Good night, Cluckles. Good night, Cluckles. Cluckles. <laughs> 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 and, <laughs> and though she clearly hated you, um, Karaya Mary left out uh, for each of you a plate of cookies and oh, warm shit. milk. Oh, and shit. with your bellies filled with sweets and the, the warm milk um, relaxing all of you, Ooh. you drift into a peaceful, joyous Yuletide sleep. How is this milk you all wake up in the morning and you find yourselves another day closer to the Yule, uh, to Yule's Eve, Yuletide Eve. And you know that you have two days to make it through these four villages and your way up to um, meet the Holly King and these festivities. And it just does not feel like you have enough time to do this, especially after that night, because it's eight o'clock now. But that's what's laid out before you, and you're gonna have to find some way to make it happen. As you all wake up, no longer a Kenku, no longer under any effects of anything that had inhibited you the night prior, you all feel <sighs> Like yourselves. Wow! Ah, Torbeck feels great! Ah! Wow, guys! I had the craziest booze infused nightmare. Yeah? Yeah! First, I shit my pants, <laughs> and then I die, <laughs> and then I shit my pants again. Uh -huh. That all happened. And then you died again? And then I was a, a bull. And then I died again, or then I was a cat, and then I was a bull, and then I died again, <laughs> and then I was a bird, and I could only mimic. All of that happened. Yeah. And then they were talking about Rangoon. Yeah. And then I tried to do a comedic bit that was very dated in the year 2000, mm -hmm. and I decided to adapt it to modern audiences. <laughs> And then it wasn't very boring, so I moved on very quickly. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I won't say any more about that. <laughs> and then, uh, oh gosh, what else happened? There was a caper of caper. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I think th there was more shit and piss somewhere. <laughs> we should probably get out of here, because I, I broke a pie last night, and I don't know if, if we're going to be blamed or not. Well, and we only have two days to get through four different towns, so that's like a half a day in each town, so we gotta shake a leg! Are we gonna have to walk? What? What? Shake a leg? Yeah! Uh, Dormic doesn't mean actually shake a leg, it's a euphemism. Ooh. 
Will I shake a leg down the stairs and out the door? It's a turn of phrase. How are we going to get there fast? Are we going to have to walk? How else are we going to get there? I think that's it. Down the stairs. With one foot after the other. <laughs> 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 Uh. <clears throat> Is there like a carriage? No. Man, this place really smells like shit. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we leave. We go to the next uh, village. We gotta start walking quickly. We hustle. Uh, I hey. have an idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I take off my hat. I mechanically can do this. I reach in and I pull out an elaborate ornate sled. From where? From your house? Uh, my uh, creation bar. Mm. I can create up to 50 gold. So a sled worth 50 gold. That's, That's a pretty like. fancy sled. Is what I like to, to create. Okay. Fook. We don't have anything to pull it. <laughs> but like if there's a hill. I guess we gotta start pushing. Uh. <laughs> no, no, we're at the top of like a 30 foot. Like, we have to go all the way to the next town where it's a, a 30 foot little grade. It's just like. Oh! <laughs> it's all filled. <laughs> it's all filled the whole way. <laughs> okay, I, I prefer the idea that we just push it uphill. The <laughs> I described I it to you that you were you were at the end at the top of a of a large hill, oh. and down in the valley below was the little. Oh, oh, so oh you would be able to ride the oh, sled straight down. Bitch. Yeah, let's do it. We all pile all in. Right. And with that. Let's hope we don't crash and die! <laughs> Goodbye, Karaya! I'm sorry I broke your pie! You, you see her in the back room cleaning up all the glass shards from the broken pie. <laughs> Goodbye, in at the piss room! <laughs> Standing atop the hill, the four of you come together as Chuckles creates a sled for you to sail down to uh, Jingleburg. You look back on the inn where you had a night of coziness for a time until it turned at, turned into all out shenanigans. And you believe you have begin to understand a bit more about this place and how it works and what was warned to you in the letter about your emotions and how they could get to you and change, um, change your state of being. And with that new knowledge and a fresh, nice rest, you all pile on top of the sled and rock it down the hill. And you take the winding turns through the fir trees until you find yourselves sailing along the road and directly into this town. This is a quaint town. Every single one of the houses seems to be made out of gingerbread. <gasps> oh! Yeah. There's no brakes on this thing! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought something happened in chat we needed to address, and that's why I stopped. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just role-playing. Mm, Presumably we crash into one of the gingerbread houses and probably murder a gingerbread family. Oh, we never know. It's like the Jinjos from Banjo-Tooie. Oh, yeah. They get run over by the oh. war machine. You that's awful. sail <laughs> into town on your sled. Um, this town is quaint. It's adorable. The houses are made of gingerbread. They are decorated with candies of varying kinds. And every single one of the doors is uh, marked with a single jingling bell. Mm. Uh, whenever the door opens, you can hear the jingling sounds throughout town. It's almost as if the other houses respond in kind and they play a merry little tune. Uh, and it's quite peaceful and uh, quite nice. Uh, and as you sail into town, many of the fey folk that live here, um, you hear them um, gasp in shock and excitement. You see um, children uh, clutch their teddies close to them as they call out to their parents that, oh, did you see that was Briggsy? And oh, that's Torbeck, he's real. And everyone seems to be so excited as you sail into town. And as almost as if gl um, you're gliding on magic itself, you find yourselves um, 
circling around a large fir tree that's been set up in the center of this village. There are people milling all around it as they're decorating it for Yuletide. And you circle the tree a few times before coming to a stop and to loud, uh, uproarious cheers. You find yourselves welcome to Jingleburg as heroes. And the two people that were the nicest are Bitsy and Briggsy. Uh, which one of you would like to roll the d12 for this town? <laughs> Torbjorn thinks there should be a recount. <laughs> you know what? Actually, you're right, because Torbeck, you... I was gonna no, say, we you were the coming. nicest. We were pretty nice. No, you were. You had you had the same amount, but you had less naughty. So no, you're right. Torbeck. That's what I thought. Yeah. 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 He was nice the whole time. Torbeck, just like everybody else, I forgot about you. Yeah, <laughs> Torbeck will forgive you this one time. <laughs> no, did you get to roll because you were I the least naughty, but you tied for nice. The so, DM's yeah. bones are safe for now. <laughs> and I did kick bitchy down the stairs. Yeah. A D12. A D12. Oh, yeah. Bones. Seven. I hope okay. That's a good number. This determines, thank you, chat, for this list. This determines the town effect that you are going to have, that you are going to undergo. Oh, no. um, I made a horrible what mistake. What was, what was the, uh, seven. Seven. That's seven, seven. That's lucky. Ten-ish. You are met by tons of people here. They are bringing you trays and trays of cookies and milk, Yay! and you are ravenous. You cannot stop eating the cookies and drinking oh, the milk. Yeah. Please, I can't. Uh, Unfortunately, like you, are all, you all find yourselves gluten intolerant and lactose intolerant. Surely this won't uh, come back to bite us. We should get to that fan sighting right away, right, guys? And surely we're through all of the shitting humor in this session. <laughs> Let me <laughs> just enjoy the cookies. And I'm gonna milk. drink this whole glass of milk. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna eat all these cookies. Definitely no and then I'm gonna midnight. Sit in one place for two hours. Not mad diarrhea. <laughs> You know that you won't be staying in this town um, all day. You know that you have two towns to get to today, and so you're not expected to be. You're not expecting to be put up in in the inn or a tavern. And you know that the, the inn for this town is up on that hill that you just left anyway. And you find yourselves in this position, realizing that it doesn't seem that this town has any sort of communal bathrooms. Uh, how you can manage this, I truly don't know. Uh, and I should have thought about that before I put that one on the list, uh. but uh, <laughs> that's what we're at now. Uh, mm. As you are given all of these things, people begin to line up to um, to meet you and to get to know you. And you um, you see that a um, a nice young man and his family brings out a table and some chairs, and they get you set up. Um, right next to this tree so that just like kids going to sit on the holly king's lap and let him know what they want for christmas uh, everyone in town can come meet you and get your autograph and talk to you for a little bit uh you notice that there are these um there are these large what are uh, not large but there there are these small what look like little yeti like creatures that are just roaring with fire um they're about about a foot and a half tall and they are led over next to you and they uh, they bumble and grumble but they they begin to just bellow warm air on you to keep you warm in this frigid uh, landscape like little uh, little yeti heaters and uh, they are on either side keeping you warm so that you don't freeze outside in the snow as people begin to line up and you're given about 10 maybe 15 minutes to to get yourself settled in as you continue to eat your cookies and milk before the townsfolk are going to start approaching you as we're getting settled in uh y anybody looking at tourbeck who would who would you know be familiar with him on a more regular basis would notice that he's kind of like hunching a bit more than normal and he's moving a little bit slower and he looks a little swollen and like it's it's slowly getting worse and worse and as we're, we're getting ready for the, the fans to come up, every time Torbeck moves, you can almost start to hear the tendonitis from his joints swelling. <laughs> and it's it's bad. It sounds awful. Like, it, like, it, like Briggsy would hear it, it's like, <laughs> as like my joints are swelling. <laughs> and, and there's a lot of inflammation happening in poor Torbeck's body. 
hard. It's see. hard for Torbeck to grip the pen. Also sitting and and looking stiff, uh, just trying to hold herself in position. As much as possible, <laughs> just sort of. <laughs> oh, it feels good to be rich and famous. <laughs> Here. Oh, little gingerbread cookie. My pants, my pants out of ink. Is, <laughs> is, is, is anybody got another quill? Oh, where's our hand? Uh, oh, yes. Jerry, <laughs> Jerry, we need some new pens, please. And can we get some silver pens, too? Also, bring Torbeck some more cookies. Yeah. His face is starting uh, to swell you, even more. You, there is no handler named Jerry, but... <laughs> Um, there was a um, small dwarf-like creature that um, that made his way towards you, uh, very similar to mountain dwarves that you had seen in Avantris, but uh, much more akin to the frigid climate of the forests in the um, uh, in the Winter Court. Um, you're not quite sure what this, what kind of fey creature that this entity is, but um, he seems almost like a mix between a winter eladger and, and a mountain dwarf. And uh, he grumbles towards you and uh, responds to all of your requests, bringing you more pens and some silver ink, uh, or more pants, I'm sorry. And, um, and some silver too. ink, some more cookies, yeah. some more, more milk. Uh, he makes sure to um, exchange the uh, the fire yemlings when um, they, the two that are there get lightheaded with more fire yemlings to continue to keep you warm. What's your name? Um, and as you call him uh, Jerry, Jerry. Uh, he snaps up at you and he says, Name's Keith! <laughs> he starts with his, thanks, Jack. Oh, Keith. Oh, I'm Keith. sorry. Uh, Jerry was from the last town. And, uh, We've had a lot of handlers over the last yeah, three days. So, yeah. so Keith uh, continues to. Um, help and assist you in whatever way that Wait, Keith! Can. And I stand there yeah. as I was inspecting the area and I see the whiteboard that's right outside of our table where we're signing. Mm -hmm. This says Legends of Advantos. Sorry about that. There were our guests yesterday. And he takes what? it and he um, he writes uh, Chuckles, Bitsy, Torbeck, and the rest and he puts it <laughs> Perfect. down in front. Ah. Ooh, well, it's, it's close enough. <sighs> when do the people start going? When do we start signing things? Yo. I think that they're gonna let them out of the line in like groups. Yeah. <laughs> so them off. My throat got destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the milk. He's <laughs> going uh, uh, really good. Is there any more milk? Uh, 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 Keith continues to exchange <laughs> one jug of warm milk for another jug of warm milk. Oh. Uh, Tor Torbeck's a little stiff. <laughs> Keith, do you have any Benadryl or, or any other kind of antihistamines? I'm getting a little hivey. Also, Torbeck can't stop sweating. Can we move those little creatures farther away? Yeah, he moves the, the fire yumlings out a little uh, bit. Um, it gets God. slightly cooler. Torbeck Occasionally, is moist. Occasionally, a breeze rushes in and uh, chill, chills your skin for a while, but it's not enough. We gotta, we gotta get this done real fast. Yeah, we gotta. I don't think I can stand for any portraits, okay? <laughs> That's yeah. fine. No, no, no. Uh, it's it's, it's, a, that, it's at this point that Keith um, removes the barricade between you and the townsfolk, oh. and families start to come up. A small family of brownies makes their way over to you. Um, the, uh, the mother um, moving her children up towards you as they point and look. And, uh, How's they your all seem kind of nervous oh, to be great. there talking Here's to you. First one. The first person that walks up to Torbeck, the second that he stops scratching his at his neck and like reaches out to grab and shake a hand, the fur is gone, and underneath are these horrific, swollen, red, like, welts. Like, clearly some sort of allergic rash is happening from the inflammation. Mm -hmm. Ah, Tormac is pleased uh, The mother uh, yeah. smacks her child's hand away from yours and... Don't, don't, just, just wave. No, just wave from afar. It's fine, Tormac. Like the sick <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. Tormac loves little children. Ah, they're Torbeck's favorite. The kids who were so excited and looking at you with the jubilance, uh, they all start to look a little bit nervous. Don't go, little kids! 
Yeah, Kimmy's yeah, not feeling very well, but I'm right, it's rain. You're, you're so swollen. All that my organs, I puke off. <laughs> you're so swollen that your chunk can't stay in place. So it keeps <laughs> popping out. out. Uh, it hits one of the smaller child directly into the face, and he starts oh, crying so as his nose swells and begins to bleed. Uh, <laughs> Torbeck is becoming more Nurgle than Bugbear. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just, I just, just think about it. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna be, you're gonna be, everything's gonna be fine here. You just, just give me something to sign. It's, it's, it's gonna be all right. What do you want me to sign? We got, we got the whole line behind you. I gotta keep you moving. Come on. <laughs> we only have 90 minutes. Make your fucking line. Come here, get. It's gonna be okay. I <laughs> promise it's. Woo. <laughs> oh. Woo. Right. I'm going to commit various war crimes. <laughs> I'm going to commit so many war crimes. <laughs> war, war crimes. War crimes. Oh, oh, I'll hold the camera. Uh, say chuckle, chuckle. Chuckle, chuckle. Chuckle, chuckle. Oh, good. The little boy. Oh, what do you want? Oh, you want a shout out? Oh, it's Lil Jeremy's <laughs> birthday, and Chuckle, Chuckle, Chuckle says war crime. Torbeck's <laughs> 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 hands have become so like gnarled and tangled that like Briggsy has to like stick the pen between his fingers just uh, so that Torbeck uh, can uh, attempt uh, to like sign uh, with a quill. Uh, just as good as you keep, keep, keep fucking moving. Just keep moving. Hey, uh, why is he fucking tonking? I don't know what you're expecting. Don't Did ever... you just cuss at a child? <laughs> don't you ever hear, don't get yep. your fucking heroes? <laughs> Sometimes you have a b- The milk and cookies are so good. We don't feel so well. We get a long man to the check. <laughs> Don't say those words! Uh, Don't say those words to me, uh, Chuckles! Uh, <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo cry. You're, you're about a quarter of the way through the line at this point. Oh, oh god! Oh. Time to get up for photos, everyone! <laughs> after, after, you, after you get up, you now realize that Torbeck is swollen and he can't get up. And he's like kind of spherical. And there's like drool oh. running down his like bloated. <laughs> face like over. <laughs> I got, I got you. I got my magical touch here, Tom. I'm, I'm just gonna touch you in a few places, pressure point style, and you're gonna be feeling like a million bucks in a second, okay? Oh. <laughs> I, I punch you in like three distinct places, attempting to release <coughs> the pain for a, hopefully a moment using uh, my medicinal touch. Does that uh, perhaps do anything mechanically? Uh, you know what? I will say for, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, this is something you can do. You, um, the, uh, what is it called? The <laughs> lactose intolerance seems to completely fade from you. You now find Physician that you can just stuff. drink this milk easily now, and all the side effects from the lactose intolerance are gone. You're still gluten intolerant, so maybe. So I'm the still cookies... horrifically swollen, yeah. but I'm not nauseous anymore. Yeah. Or it's gassy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no visible physical change. Torbeck <laughs> is just. There's less gurgling. Uh, he's very job of the hood ish. Yes! Man artist, if we don't get a single image of Bitsy and Salacious Chrome with Java Torbeck, I am so disappointed. Torbeck the Hut. We need a we need a Brizzy Gamerian guard. A hundred percent. And we need a Chuckles Max Rebo. And all the other clowns are his band. Yeah. <laughs> the only way we get these portraits uh, done, you realize, is if you just come <laughs> behind where Torbeck is stuck in his job yeah, in the chair. Yeah. Uh, come on, so, over here, over here! Uh, so, all right, all right. stand for a portrait? Uh, okay. Oh! 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 Hold on, Bishop! Hold on! Hold on! I almost got Okay! Uh, okay! Sign it! Oh, oh. 
Chukum's Chukum's War Cry! <laughs> Chukum's Chukum's! Uh, one, one moment, I'll kind of like waddle over to like behind like a house and I'm just shooting <laughs> up my pant leg. <laughs> This is the worst fan signing of all. Keith! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just shaking out my band leg behind the house. You got, you got some kind of like container, like a bucket or something. I need anything. Anything that slip underneath yeah, the table. Yeah, I can get you a bucket. And he brings a bucket very quickly. Okay. Just, just cover them for me, you guys. I'm gonna go underneath. Oh, the- hello, children. No! <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna huddle underneath the table and just unleash into this bucket. First time in Jingleburg, huh? Well, uh, I've been to every <laughs> Jingleburg. <Jingleberg. laughs> oh, no. sorry. What was don't that? Mind, don't mind her. Are you a local or are you oh. coming from? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the candy cane woods. Oh, I've never been there, but I hear it's oh. beautiful country. <laughs> Oh, you know Gloppy Gloppy! Oh. You know, we actually go way back. Yeah. You know? Oh, oh yeah. yeah! The Candy Cane Forest is known for its steak and cheese. Oh, uh, God. God. Where would you steak recommend I get my steak and cheese from? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, oh, thank you so much. I feel so much better. Oh, oh what's the Oh, order? Jerry's the steaks? Alright, oh, okay. okay. I'll be right back. That's the- canon now! <laughs> <laughs> That's canon now! Oh, here's the bucket! That's just under there, my oh. little top door! Okay, hold on! Oh. <laughs> it's just like a, a finger's length, it's a, it's a very top, perfectly stable. Why? <laughs> oh, oh That's Cannon now! I, I hate this. <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 be, I'll, I'll be right back, and I'll just take it, and then you'll hear it slush and a slush and a thing. And, you will continue. Where did you throw it? <laughs> uh, where Behind I a gingerbread house. We're in front of the tree, right? Behind a gingerbread house. Go right. the tree. You, yeah, the, tree. The, the tree is in the very center of the circular <laughs> town square. 100% behind, yeah, behind, behind a gingerbread house. Yeah, there are a bunch of town presents behind a gingerbread house. Yeah, okay. Okay. And so... He'll be right back. Oh! It's <laughs> just fine. Everything's fine. He'll be right back. That's canon now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sign for you. Uh, war crime, shiggle shiggles, and happy birthday, little Jimmy. You're about, you're about halfway oh, through the line. Close enough, chuckles shiggles. Chuckles, we got my portraits coming up. Chuckles oh. shiggles, oh. happy oh. war crimes day, birthday I, kitty. I love the bucket. <laughs> I don't need another bucket. I'm fun. I'm, I'm freaking oh, no. out. <laughs> You say as you down another glass of warm milk. <laughs> like, I'm fine. Gonna be all right. okay. How does this affect me being undead? I would honestly say it's not really affecting you all that much. Yeah, I puked through my organs, so they're all they're chilling. Yeah, they're chilling. Just got rid yeah. of the, the oh, offending yeah. organs. Are, organs are, pro- are a little irritated, but yeah. The, the problem. One of the kids grabs your kidney. Can you find this, please? Uh, can I have you all roll a group perception check? Oh, this is mine! Sure. <laughs> group? Oh, oh, Bozo the Clown. Yeah, that's cool. The group. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, Curly? Oh, yeah, close enough. Close enough. Yeah, yeah. War Uh-oh. crime. War crime. Can I use the twist of nice? Oh, I should do okay. I got a 17. What are you rolling? I got perception, an 18, actually. Perception. Uh, twist? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got him. I got it. I'm gonna use a twist. Use a Thank twist. you, chat. Thank you, chat. I was meant to meant to fail. I need to. I'm Five. sorry. I apologize. Uh, 21. I apologize. 17. Okay. Rich? Uh, uh, 18. Uh, yeah, I think 18. Um, you, you're about halfway through this line, and you, something, though you have all been dealing with your, uh, various, uh, intolerances, there's something you've begun to notice. There are significantly less children than you'd expected, and the ones that have been there, the parents seem to be very, very protective of. And you begin to scan the gingerbread houses, and you realize that many of them, the decorations are not lit or they look like they'd been taken down hastily and instead um, there have been uh, black draperies of mourning uh, or um, there are signs um, I will say you you notice um, on certain lampposts you see signs for a variety of missing children oh boy 
Oh, oh, you like your shorts, do you? Well, I'm from a long form campaign, but anyway, now Chuckles is right over there. Oh! <laughs> Safe! Nice! Oh, yeah, Brick B is pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, he, he, he contributes. Uh, he, can, he contributes. He's a good, he's a, uh, he's a good teammate. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm, we're working on the podcast. I appreciate that you prefer that. Thank you for your feedback. <laughs> yeah. I'll let the team know. Uh, all right, well, here you go. I'll wait until I uh, have a fan who is alone and doesn't look like they could have <clears throat> lost a kid or, or anything. Just like someone who, uh, you know, mid-20s, I don't know. Just um, the uh, average person. Somebody yeah. that I think is, would be safe to ask questions about what's going on. Yeah, you, um, one of one of those um, people makes their way towards you and um, kind of shaking as they hand over their little autograph book for oh, you to sign. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, before I sign, I assume that's canon now? <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, just between you and me, I've got two questions. One, okay. when you drink milk, does it hurt? No. Okay, number two, uh, there seems to be a lot of folks who are sort of like, Morning, can because I, I see some of the, the the windows. They got like black drapes and stuff. Is there something going on? Something bad? He like looks around and can see that the people that are closest to him are very clearly engaged with Chuckles and uh, Bixby and Torbeck, and um, so. Uh, he feels like he can have a candid conversation with that with you without being overheard, but he still leans in as if to um, maintain a little bit of secrecy and a little bit of um, privacy. Yeah. Uh, so the the Yule festivities started, you know, ten days ago now, and uh, kids started going missing. Literally ten days ago now. Nobody knows what's going on. It's been ramping up every day, mm. and nobody quite knows why. And up until recently, the Holly King was responding to our queries, but as of last night, he's gone completely silent. The Holly King's not responding to these missing kids. No, and all of the lights are out in his city. Are all it's the as kids... if it's abandoned completely. What? Are all the kids made of gingerbread? What? No. Oh. Oh. Well, that's that sounds real bad. Yeah, I don't I don't know what we're gonna do about it. Well, we gotta find them kids. But it's it feels like it's affecting the town at the very least. Like things here have changed. There. I don't know if you've noticed, but the snow's not falling. And as he mentions this, you look up and you see that though there's snow blanketing the ground, it's very clear that it has stopped falling completely. And. The smells, the Yuletide smells of like chestnuts roasting on an open fire and cinnamon and fir trees. It's dampened and it's getting worse. And he breathes in um, the cold air and you do too and you realize that he's right. You had just thought maybe it was your allergies, your swollen sinuses, your intolerance to gluten and lactose Ooh. that um, led you to a feeling like the smells here were dampened. but. You remember arriving here yesterday and it's smelling like a winter's fire. And that cozy scent that you associate with this kind of place, even the, the smell of the gingerbread houses, it's almost completely gone. Huh. Uh, I have two more questions if that's all right, real fast. Yeah, okay. Is there a Holly Queen? No. Okay, and what's your name? Oh, yeah, my name is Abigail Greenbead. Abigail Greenbead. Yeah, yeah. I heard. I heard from one of my favorite dungeon masters that you should just pull up a name generator if you want the best names in the game. Abigail Greenbead. I want to say thanks, Ag, my friend. Perfect. That's canon now. It was a penis. I'm sorry. What? There you go. Ah, mom's gonna freak. He puts it in his bag and walks away. No, Torbeck doesn't have a C in it. Yes, Torbeck is sure how to spell Torbeck's name. Next. O U R B A C K. You like Torbeck? You like it's canon now? Well, first that's bitsy, but also you know it's a common misconception that it's it's canon now. Now. And the actual quote is that's canon now. And if you know, then the Wikipedia page, and I go on and explain the origin of why there's a misconception for it's canon now versus the correct that's canon now. 
That's a bit condescending. Is that actually wrong on the wiki? No, I, I just, most people say it's canon yeah, now. Yeah, 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 Instead yeah. Of that's funny as fuck. We're making a very meta joke. It's very it's meta. funny as fuck. <laughs> oh, uh, you forgot to ask. In a gingerbread village, are the houses made of flesh or are the people made of house? <laughs> Oh, that's a good question. We can ask one the, of these the, other random NPCs. She's got a name generator. The, the people are, are just, just people. people. None of them are made of gingerbread. I know. Oh. I, know I know. I just. I was oh, I've, been I've been picturing gingerbread. Oh, I thought they were gingerbread. No, 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 the just, houses are made of gingerbread, they're but people. they're just random fey creatures. Oh. No, I I caught that. I was just wondering. No, I thought these were gingerbread people. That's why I asked if milk hurt. <laughs> he was very confused. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> was. Oh. Uh, uh, Chukles, Chukles, war crimes. Okay. Uh, well, it, it's not Bigsby, it's Briggsby. You You're about oh, 75% of the way it's through the line. It's not Briggsby, it's Briggsby. Oh, oh it, it's not Cremmy, it's Briggsby. Uh, why do, if people keep calling me Cremmy for some reason. That's very funny. It's Cremmy, it's not even close. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna go. Oh, 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 what have you done? Oh, oh. Oh no. Are you feeling alright? You're rubbing off on me. You okay? And not in the fun way. Do you want me to like get a pen and stab oh, you in sorry. the throat? And my flesh is like sloughed off a little bit on you. Thank you. Guys, oh. I think Torbeck might be dead soon. Torbeck. Oh my god. Is it where he's closing up? Oh no. He's beyond repair. I'm gonna reach in behind my back and I'll pull out a giant cartoon revolver. <laughs> I think we gotta put him down. Children, look away. Look away, children. Wait! Doesn't he just need a trach? I need a trach! Stat! Oh! I seen it on the show. Hold on! You hold on, on Rocky Talkie! Call Dr. Bozo! <laughs> <laughs> and I'll walk over the toilet. Okay, Dr. Bozo! Can you hear me? Death chuckle. Yeah, Torbeck again. Yeah, you need the trick. No, I haven't been watching Anaconda on repeat. No, this isn't an excuse to just like come with the throat open. Of course I already have the straw on me. It's not awfully convenient. I just need to walk me through this, okay? Torbeck is so swollen you can't find his neck. <laughs> Dr. Except, Bozo, I, except for the place <coughs> where he had torn all of the yeah, hair away. It's just, it's There's just, like a small line. It is angry time. red. Is that going to be big enough? I've got this oversized milkshake straw from Silver Diner. Okay. <laughs> so, oh. But Dr. Bozo said Silver Diner. Oh. Straw. <laughs> Silver Diner milkshake straw. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're going to need some sort of knife. I could just shoot a hole in with my gun. Ooh. No, no. It's crazy. I could shoot a hole in with my gun. Oh. <laughs> well, do we have anything else, Dr. Bozo? Would you recommend anything else? I've got a shotgun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That. <laughs> okay, you get ready to shoot and I'll stick the straw in. Okay, where am I supposed to shoot him? <laughs> you know what's really unclear, Dr. Bozo? <laughs> Dr. Bozo. Did you run out of battery? Oh, I forgot Dr. Bozo died five years ago. <laughs> oh, no! Well, I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> okay! I think I'm supposed to shoot him in the neck so you can insert the straw, right? That's what Dr. Bozo would want. <laughs> I put my head on. Hurry, I put my foot on your, on your face and then put the, the shotgun against his neck. <laughs> like, like this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the red oh, the snow is just painted red, <laughs> flesh and fur. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most violent thing that anyone has ever witnessed in this town. And because it's a, a winter miracle, uh, it spells Torbeck. That's amazing. It's a Utah miracle. Are you actually doing all of this? I mean, you haven't stopped it. Uh, uh, I need you to roll a death saving throw for me, please. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Oh, pretty good. 18. Okay. You didn't die on impact. <laughs> um, you, uh, this does happen. Uh, and you are, you are able to breathe.
breathe <coughs> through the straw. Um, yeah. You're feeling kind. You're feeling pretty weak. Uh. Um, and uh, I'm gonna say that that's real fucked up, Chuckles. I'm gonna <laughs> roll a d12, please. <laughs> I'll bet she helped. Yeah, I'll bet she helped. Fair enough. Guys, Hold that on. was helpful. You become convinced you are Santa Claus. You are not. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, little boy. Uh, Dormac's name is Dormac. Dormac is not a little I'm boy. I'm so glad that you can breathe through that over five milk state straw. Dormac is glad to. What do you want for your, your December ween, child? <laughs> a new neck. <laughs> oh, well, goodness gracious, in order to do that, you're going to have to sit on Santa's lap. <laughs> I'm still horrifically <laughs> swollen. <laughs> Uh, here. Uh, hold on, I can help. Hold on, let me roll him over. If you, if, as oh. you pick me up, some of my skin and hair like sloughs off. Yeah, <laughs> I just sort of like, roll you towards Chuckles. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna have to like get on the ground, like sit, you know, okay. sit just down. Uh, you know, okay. Torvik right. is prone. Yeah, his I'm, head is kind of on your lap. I'm gonna roll him, you know, like, like Saving Private Ryan style, with you, which is his head in your lap. <laughs> Are we all set? Uh. Oh ho ho ho! Okay, everyone. Chuckles, chuckles! Oh, oh chuckles, <laughs> chuckles! Chuckles, 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 war crime! Uh, oh, ch uh, chuckles, chuckles. Ho, ho, ho! Happy uh, December ween! A really shitty kid runs up and blows into the straw. <laughs> <laughs> no way! <laughs> Yeah, Torvik's lungs burst. He dies. I'm gonna go home, guys. Oh, shit! Thank you. Thank you. Nice, guys. For real. You just Torvik killed Torvik! Torvik is dead. <laughs> Torvik will not be back for which light. It's over. Thanks. Oh my god! They killed Torvik! You bastard! <laughs> hey, how could you do that? That wasn't very nice. You should roll on the uh, naughty list. Uh, What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? Come back here! Bear spider wings! <laughs> you need his bear spider wings? Break his neck! You watch your mouth and you'll be missing two real soon! End him, Bitsy! Uh, <laughs> I would like you to roll a d12 for me, please. Both Briggsy and Bitsy. Make him pay for his sins. Okay, hold on! <laughs> Five. Bitsy's got a shotgun! Oh, God. Oh, uh, seven, again. That's not again. The oh. last time you got a six. Oh. Um, would you two like to switch just for how fun this would be? It if you depends switch? what it is. Yeah. I mean, whatever you think. Um, you become a feral tabaxi and feel the need to mark your territory, and Bitsy's legs would fuse together. Oh! <sighs> I fall, the shotgun goes off, I careen in one direction, and then finally come to a sliding stop. What the fuck? My fucking legs! <laughs> What happened? I don't know, my legs fused together! <laughs> and now I feel compelled to say my fucking legs all the time! <laughs> what happened to your legs? I don't know, they seemed... I got real grumpy at that kid and now I can't seem to... to move them! Ah, uh, the, That kid, uh, bare spider wings, runs over to you and just pushes you over. Uh, Torbeck would do anything to have his neck fused back together! I'll heal you as soon as I get my legs fixed, Starbuck! And oh. after I kill this kid! <laughs> Do it now. <laughs> and you'll turn, and you'll see that I've become a large, rotund, orange cat with stripes. Oh, uh, just end him, because why live anyway? Monday will come around again. The equivalent of Monday. The equivalent of Monday. Oh, wait, hold on! Uh, Bitsy, I know how to help. Dr. Bozo! Yeah, with another fused legs. Yeah, okay. Oh, the shotgun again! <laughs> Just shred <right>, you say! <laughs> Jerry, before you kill that kid, do it here. Jerry, do you have any lasagna I could have? Uh, name my name's Keith. Keith. <laughs> oh, Keith. Well, Keith, I need some lasagna, please. Yeah, I think that could be arranged. 
Is there a conflict of interest that I have a similar but vaguely distinct personality to Torbeck? <laughs> Uh, he didn't have time to answer as he rushed off to get you your long. Okay, well, uh, doing a Bill Murray impression's kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a tough one. That's a real tough one. Uh, as we're taking pictures and and uh, uh, yeah, you have about five percent of the line left. He, he, uh, Chuckles is on the phone. Uh, I my head is still like. Kind of in Chuckles' lap, unless he's pushed me away. No, I'm, I'm still I'm, here. I'm looking around trying to get oh, my bearings, oh, oh, oh. and I notice there's some weird, very weird, like, like kind of unsettling person, like collecting Torbex, like falling off hair pieces and like sticking them in a little bag. Uh, put that down. You can't have Torbex hair. No, don't take that. You, you freak of nature. <laughs> Leave Torbeck's hair in the snow! Uh, hey, look, I got the uh, scarf! Yeah! Oh, yeah, Dr. Bozo, how's the family? How's the kids? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah, no, no, I actually, I know that they're, that, I, I, I see them when they're sleeping. I see when they're awake, too. I know when they've been naughty as well. Yeah, no, let them know. Let them know that Chuckles knows, knows when they've been naughty at night and that he knows when they're sleeping. And he's always watching them. Yeah. Yeah. Then no matter what they do at all times, Chuckles is watching. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Stop kicking me! Ah! <laughs> he does oh, not stop sweat. kicking you. Oh. Bear Spider Wings is a shit, and he is really, he has decided you're his target. I've had enough! Oh, here. He says to give you the shotgun. I don't need my legs to kick your ass! And I throw the shotgun, and I start to crawl towards him, and I'm eventually <laughs> just going to, like, pull myself up to the fabric of uh, his pants and up his shirt and eventually look at him and like, Do you want to kick me again? Do you really want to kick me again? Roll an intimidation check at advantage. <laughs> Bitsy's gone feral. Uh, uh, Eleven unless I can twist. Uh, it's up to you whether you can twist. Yeah. Please. Damn, oh. eleven. With an eleven, this is a child. <laughs> it does not take much to intimidate a child and a... Um, a bitsy crawling through the snow, an unhinged bitsy crawling through the snow, climbing up uh, his clothing and shaking him violently uh, while screaming into his face does it as um, tears begin to spill out of his eyes as he begins to sniffle and cry and he uh, he attempts to, to shove you off. Um, and, and he is able to um, just long enough. He slips on some ice and he falls over, uh, snots pouring out of his nose as he cries and starts calling for his mom. Uh, you may have he, a real uh, cool name, but you watch yourself! Learn some manners! And you see that he runs into the gingerbread house that uh, Chuckles had been shitting and pissing on um, <laughs> about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Only shitting! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Oh, that can't be good for the my signing. Way okay, I'm back. Well, that boy has been very naughty and is going on the naughty list. Make you say the chuckles. I know when he is sleeping and I know when he's awake. Your omniscience is terrifying, say the chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> it is neither terrifying nor heartwarming, it simply is. Mm. My omniscience was here in the beginning. It will be here when all things turn to the void. Chuckles has a weird sense of clarity today. It's all true. Well, Bitsy, Dr. Bozo didn't give me any advice on how to unfuse your legs because he's been dead for five years. <laughs> I know. You or maybe could, I'm just going to be like this forever. And you it's could, at this time the last person in line. Um, oh, oh Chuckles, Chuckles, war crimes. Oh, let's get him out. Keith, <laughs> my lasagna. Uh, there is a piping hot lasagna. This oh, is yeah. lasagna pizza. Who the fuck would willingly <laughs> eat this? <laughs> That's not very nice to do to Keith. <laughs> Well, I'll eat it anyway. I mean, don't worry, a fucking dick. 
Are we done? I think can, we're done. Can you roll Tor back into the <sighs> sled and get us out of oh, here? Look, if I put eight slices of lasagna pizza on top of each other, is it eight slices of lasagna pizza or one slice of lasagna pizza? I think it's just one slice of pizza still, no matter. Because look at the layers, right? Oh, no. Now that I'm flesh and blood, I have gluten and lactose intolerance. <laughs> uh oh. You hear my stomach start to gurgle. I need to go mark my territory. <laughs> and I it's go horrific. and I go behind all the gingerbread <laughs> houses and start Listen, shotgun we problems real everything. Fast. Yeah. Uh, you notice that a few of the gingerbread houses start to crack and crumble <laughs> yeah. um, as their foundations are soaked with tabaxi piss. And the gingerbread can't oh. uh, hold up. I don't know why these normal people would build their fucking <laughs> houses out of such poor <laughs> construction material, but... Because it's magic. It's magic. Oh, little uh, adult, would you care for a December ween? You say this to nobody. As would you like no new houses of sturdier material? Chuckles, please. They're all gone. I <laughs> see them. They are waking currently. <laughs> we have, we have to go. I see please. them. Well, they, well, they wake. Torbeck is begging you. Get I know Torbeck that they the sled. I are... would help you, Torbeck, but my legs are fused together. Unless we do <coughs> a sweet, floating yellow chair, I can't do a thing. Torbeck believes if we can get out of here, we'll be fixed. You okay, guys? I'm ready to go. Can you help both of us into the sled? I'm totally emptied. <laughs> what? You, yeah. you need help? We yeah, have we to need help. Get out uh, of here. I could really use a nap. <laughs> I don't know. I could call an obnoxious dog to annoy you. Oh, I would certainly hate that. Well, fucking get us into this goddamn sled. <laughs> Wouldn't that be entertaining for 38 years? <laughs> I push, I push uh, Torbeck and Bitsy. They better be good, for goodness sake. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> I see them all. Chuckles, come on! They are all naughty. Come on, get in the sled! We have, Politician. we have to go to the next town! Oh, I almost forgot my shotgun! I, I hold oh. out one hand and just... <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Keith! Lasagna, Keith! I need more. <laughs> he pulls out I another need more lasagna, warm Keith. can of lasagna and puts it down Bring in front it to of you. me. I hunger. <laughs> More lasagna. Keith, oh, you... that's what you want for December, <laughs> yes. little boy. I want all the lasagna. I see that you are on the knife list. Let me fetch you your pasta of legend. <laughs> With your omniscience, you should know that that which we call substance and reality is really shadow and illusion. And that which we call shadow and illusion is substance and reality, can you not? The layers of lasagna were simply the layers of our fragile existence, held together not by ricotta of a dairy cow, but the ricotta of the frail morality, so easily shattered in a realm that cares not if we are naughty or nice. All there truly is of chaos, void of naughty or nice. And that of the void, the beings that cross the fourth dimension on membranous wings, soar through the ether, will herald our doom. Well, I hope they leave out milk and cookies. Let's go. I turn and I fire the shotgun behind us in the sled, and it rockets, it rockets us out of the town. Bye, we'll find you kids, bye. So you guys are just gonna leave the town and head on to the next one. <laughs> yes, yes, that's uh, what we've done. You, what are the missing? Are we gonna look for you, the missing kids? Look for the missing kids. You, I don't know how. You're leaving town and Rocky. You had. There was a reason I had throngs of NPCs waiting to talk uh, to all well, of you. We can talk um, to the NPCs. You are moving on to the next town, and <laughs> I, uh, you. No, have... I fire the shotgun behind me. It doesn't move us. It, it's ridiculous. It just, that that it was, just kills thirty that NPCs. Was like, yeah. um, <laughs> it propels you forward a little bit, and uh, you are able to. Uh, you hit a patch of frozen piss. Uh, okay. Um, that skirts you forward, and you find yourselves rocketing out of town, almost magically propelled uh, by this sled. As you make your way out of Jingleburg and um, you find yourselves in uh, heading towards uh, Holly Hollow 
and you are um, you are rocketing through the snow and winding between uh, fir trees as some of the things that um, that <laughs> Apogee Greenbead uh, said to you. Incredible. Yeah, Apogee Greenbead. Uh, as uh, you think about some of the things that he said to you about the fact that these the smells have been dampened, mm -hmm. the um, overall uh, Yuletide cheer has been dampened, and that the the children have gone missing, and that um, the snow has stopped falling. And you think about this for a little bit before you are focused by the trees just rushing past you. And eventually you find yourselves shooting out of a large thicket of forest and sliding across a frozen lake. And all surrounding it in almost like a moon shape, like here in this little hollow of trees, you find what is very clearly holly hollow. All of the um, all of the cottages are made from uh, beautiful wood, and they are all decorated with um, bits of holly and tinsel. Uh, once again, there is a large tree erected in the center, and as you slide into town, everyone's cheering and excited for you. As um, as you arrive, none of them having gotten the mail that was definitely sent um, from a Jingleberg to warn of your impending arrival <laughs> and what to expect. Did you click? So everyone is still incredibly um, excited for you to be here. As uh, very similarly to the first, um, uh, to Jingleberg, uh, you you find yourselves sliding into town, making a couple of loops around the Yule tree in the center, and then um, another um, another uh, fey dwarf uh, named Keith. Um, strange that there would be another one, and yet there is. <laughs> uh, Keith helps you to once again set up your uh, your yemlings, and you are all there getting yourselves ready for the signing. The lactose intolerance seems to have gone away in the winds. Oh, thank God. As you, um, all of the things that were afflicting you, um, as you existed in Jingleburg are now oh, gone. Goodness. Uh, but as you settle into this town, you feel that strange, that same strange magic overcome you. I need, only one of you did a good deed, and that was Bitsy. No, <laughs> Torbeck did a good deed as well. I shot um, Torbeck's neck no, Torbeck, so he could breathe. <laughs> Torbeck gets to roll because Torbeck did less bad deeds, He's such but a tied nice guy. for good I deeds. I showed a stroll in his bloody throat. Yes, you did. <laughs> a one. Um, oh, good. This will be the best one. <laughs> it could be. Or it might not be. Keith. Well, no. <laughs> Does this Keith look the same? You're you're uh, you're Sovereign, no longer Garthulu. Servant, servant Keith. She never said it was gone. <laughs> yes, she did. She did. No, she no. specifically said Just that the, the lactose, lactose intolerance. Yeah, all the other effects. Yeah, all of all of the other effects are gone. All, of, all, of oh, all, right. are gone. all right. So all of you, you're a clean slate. Does as, there's piss all over the sled. <laughs> as <laughs> you <laughs> begin. <laughs> It's the problem. It's part of my character. It's okay. the problem. It's my Just character. Get that out of there. It's part of my problem. There's a part of me that doesn't want to let you guys have this one because it's just going to be awful. I can reroll. Yeah. Oh, that was good. <laughs> yeah, that one I, I needed good. more. No, suspense. you all act like Karens. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh... Keith! <laughs> Keith! <laughs> yeah. Keith! Uh... Yeah. I sent a head for green M&Ms. And I don't see any green fucking M&Ms here. I, I didn't get a, a notice from uh, from Dingle Keith. It was in our contract, Keith. <laughs> <Dingle Keith. laughs> I think you. It was in our fucking contract. Did anyone sh think to show you our fucking contract? Uh, you <sighs> don't need to cuss. All right, there are kids present. And Jingle Keith did not send me a contract or any special requests. We're actually awaiting notice from Jingle Keith as to how things went in Jingleberg. Right. Uh, also, we don't need to curse, but we're going to. Yeah, okay. I don't care. You're harassing me. You're harassing me by telling me not to curse. <laughs> we can't keep this up this whole time. <laughs> we're gonna need you to back up a little bit. We'll, we'll do oops all Karen's for a little bit and then we'll switch it up. Don't come any closer, please back up. <laughs> Alright. Do you have a manager? We'll speak to your manager. What, wait, what's your name tag? What's your full name, Keith? Holly Keith. Keith Holly Keith? Holly Keith, we're gonna have you fired from this <laughs> establishment. 
I hope you know that. I hope this you know is that. my home. I hope you know that you're gonna, get, you're gonna go into exile, <laughs> and you you have lost a customer. <laughs> you have lost a customer. I am gonna go on to my the Facebook.com, the bookface.com, and tell all of my friends to never come to Hollyburg and never deal with Keith, Holly Jolly Keith, ever again. Chuckles is right. We're very influential and people listen to us. We're here to sign autograph and say chuckles, chuckles, or crimes. <laughs> Do you know who we are? <laughs> And you'd have a lot of explaining to do, Keith. And you'll all be your fault, Keith. I think y'all need some eggnog. And he puts a big pitcher of eggnog in front of you. You're field. fired, Keith. For my home? This, minus, this is minor inconvenience means that you deserve to lose your entire livelihood. You understand? <laughs> Thank you for the eggnog! <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting! <laughs> And, and just because we accept the free eggnog doesn't mean that we won't take more comp things. <laughs> the only thing I taste in this eggnog is your ignorance. <laughs> you are made to be. <laughs> I will have some too. This is going in my Yelp review. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I bet you didn't know we were Yelpers. <laughs> yeah. And as you finish the eggnog, you feel that fucking twist go away. Oh that curse is gone. Uh, as we finish back, I'm, I'm like, just type, Yelp, one out of five stars. The food was absolutely excellent, and the appetizers were delicious. It was incredible, but the waitress had chipped fingernails, and she looked at me nastily. And zero, a little expensive. One star. The food was delicious. <laughs> you hate those reviews so much. It's not helpful. It's no not one cares. Helpful. Oh, it was crowded during happy hour. <laughs> but everything was perfect. One it was star. Perfect, amazing. Yeah. One star. One star. Oh god. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Oh. This oh. dog is actually pretty good. Oh. Yeah, that was excellent. Yeah, this is oh. nice. Yeah, well done. I'm sorry I yelled earlier. Yeah. I, I just, I'm not myself unless I've had my yeah. own help. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's because we've lost control of our own lives. And now we're at a point where we're, where it's too late to really start over. And we're trapped in loveless marriages. And we've, we, we feel a lack of control in our own lives. And that gives existential dread. And we lash out to try to get control of situations. And that's why we act that way. It's our own impotent rage trying to escape. But unfortunately, despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Uh, we get a little Whoa. bit of power, and you know, we just have to make other people's lives hell. I'm gonna go ahead and let the people in to meet you guys, I guess. Wait! Hold on! <laughs> Lads. Hmm? I left me chunk in Jingleburg. Oh. Let's go back and also <laughs> save all those missing kids! Oh. I finally <laughs> feel like I have a moment of clarity. <laughs> I just got post non clarity. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, only one problem. First off, how far is it? <laughs> Second of all, I'm pretty sure it's uphill the whole way. Well, as long as we hit one of those, like, magical frozen piss boost zones, we'll be... It'll yeah, be it was just one seconds. shotgun blast away. We uh, go back really easy. Holly Keith, we're really sorry. <laughs> Dingo Keith will probably have nice things to say about us. He was a real gem. Yeah, well, we'll see what Jingle Keith has to say when I hit his oh, message. Have, is anything okay. going wrong in this town? Yeah. We're trying to do good now. We're looking for go missing back. kids. I'm going to go ahead and open up the line. Well, no, the autograph bit's already played out. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're here now. I guess you should have saved some of your material knowing there were four towns to do this in. And then he's gonna, he's gonna open up the line and you have a group of people that are gonna make their way through. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah. How is Hollyburg? Uh, uh, I always time? come back. It's nice to meet you. As always, chuckles, chuckles. 
Chico it's Chico. nice to meet you. Yeah. Yes, that is authentic Chico's piss Chico's. smell. Yeah, that's, that's canon now. That's just outdoor back smell. Uh, oh, you like my sweater? Thanks. It's actually a thrift find. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> oh, Bixby. No, you spelled it wrong. Uh, let me just fix that for you. Yep. All right, here you go. Oh, before I sign your thing, has there anything but been terrible going on? Who are you asking? Uh, the person that I'm signing, the random NPC, whose name is? Well, <laughs> it's just a tall, close Bitsy figure. With no specifically asked <laughs> for a specific type of NPC. What are you looking? Who are you? What kind of person? I'm are you looking to to? for someone who might be like. Oh, oh. Okay. Um, you know there, I mean? There's a like 14, 15 ish year old boy standing in front of you. Um, he passes um, his autograph book over to you, but he's not making eye contact with anyone uh, or paying much attention to what you guys are writing um, as you address him. Yeah, we're trying to figure out if there's a strange mystery, like any any kind of uh, uh, a monster or, or ne'er-do-wells or anything going wrong that we can help. We're really trying to get out of this whole autograph thing. We're bored of it already. Uh, you could just, like, not do the rest of them. Like, why yeah. do you have to go to the other towns? Don't we have a contract? I don't know. Did you sign one? Yeah, but Brinksy indicated earlier that uh, we had a contract and that we were supposed to get green M and M's, which we, yeah. did not, we, we did not receive. We know definitely. Didn't he get reaches those. into his pocket and pulls out a bag of green M and M's and puts them on the table. Oh, uh, thank I'm you. Saving those for later. But oh, you can have them. Huh, peanut. <laughs> we should call our agent. Oh, who's our agent? Is that Jerry? Maybe that's Jerry. Yo, Jerry. How you doing? C can you talk? <laughs> yeah, you're stuck in traffic. You have time to talk. Yeah, I know you're very busy. So we're, we're doing this. We're doing this fucking signing. Ask him about the M and M's. There's like pits everywhere and shit, and, and, and they didn't have green M and M's. What the fuck, man? We, we got it from some random teenager. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh so, I mean, you talked to all the teeth and you said M and M's. Well, they didn't do it anyway. Was, anyway, we think that out of hand. Anyway, can we just not do the last two signings? Yeah, there's like a strange mystery, and I think that we need to solve it and save uh, December Ween. <laughs> what, 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 what happens if we break our contract? What is the, what is the penalty? Uh, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Um, okay, thanks. How's the wife doing? Good, good. Kid, you sell that dog? Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> the NBC walks away. You have that house in the, you have that house? <laughs> so, you, oh, no, you got a new place. Nice. Yeah, 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 I mean, if the kid moves out, you don't need that much space, you're right, you're right. Okay. Ask him, ask him if uh, there's any updates on me getting on which line. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, any word from once upon a witch light about Bitsy joining? <laughs> um, you know, and I'll like walk over. No, I know she's right next to me. Right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> she was in here. She was in here. Like, uh, hold on. Oh, I, you're breaking up. You're breaking up, Keith. I mean, uh, 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 Jerry, you're breaking up, Jerry. Hold Man. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, he said that there, he feels like it's very close, right? Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, oh any, any updates on the air chuckles deal? Oh, any updates on the air chuckles deal? Now that we're now that I'm now that I have you. <laughs> uh, uh, they're driving a hard bargain. I understand. I believe in you. I trust you. Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. We'll squeeze them. We squeeze them. We got you. Got to buy the nuts, uh, Jerry. You got to buy the nuts. I trust you. Okay, cool. We're probably gonna just gonna bag this whole rest of the thing in December. Okay. Did Bad Dragon have any uh, feedback on the photos I sent him? <laughs> uh. Oh no, he's been, he's gotta go because of this thing. Okay, okay. 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 Oh, uh, that went well. Uh, what's the word? He died ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, Jerry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's just standing there like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jerry. <laughs> uh, 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 well, uh, we gotta make a choice. Are we gonna commit ourselves <coughs> to these, um... Autograph signings, or are we gonna, uh... 
<laughs> are we gonna are you uh, go find these uh, missing children? Did you so that yogi? <laughs> 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 Did you get regular green M&M's or green peanut M&M's? Uh, I didn't give you any M&M's, but if you took M&M's from Duncan, uh, that kid that you were just talking to, that sad kid. Oh, yeah. Whose parents wish that he were a girl. Um, yeah, yeah, if, uh, if yeah. yeah, if you got, uh, if you took his M&M's, he only eats uh, peanut M&M's. Well, that's part of our contract, that we ask for peanut M&M's. They're the best ones. Why the fuck have we asked for regular green M&M's? Yeah, ever since I got the medicine that makes me not aller allergic to meth, there's a peanuts, I, I've been no, it's been no problem, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating you pills for all week. That's real. Uh oh. The medicine is on the news, man. Well, we should probably go get me chunk. What do you think, fellas? Uh, what? No, no, Torbeck doesn't bathe. And even if Torbeck did bathe, he wouldn't sell you his bath water. That's it, guys. We're getting out of here. These people are perverts. I'm over Torbeck can't be treated like this. Yeah, it's it's sick. Just because we turned the cram piss into cram piss. <laughs> uh, that didn't really work. <laughs> just, be just because we got rid of old Krampus and, and, and gave Gryla what for. Uh, can you roll a uh, d12 for me, please? Me? Yeah. Nine. You, you can keep going. Oh. Oh. Just because we did all that doesn't mean that we should fulfill our contract. You start Krampusing. Cherries! <laughs> 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 oh, Cherry said. Cherry said. And we can go ahead and save December week. And then he wants us to. He wants us to have drinks with the uh, the folks uh, who can make maybe make air chocolate. That's a pretty good deal, Ron. Right? I mean, have some top of <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a write off? Like, are, are they paying for it or are we? He uh, wasn't very clear. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Dormac doesn't want to alarm anyone, but Chuckles looks like he's in horrific pain, and Bitsy, well, she's rapidly swelling. <laughs> Not again. Why Why are we getting so ill? Uh, uh, you know what? I wonder if it's because biologically we weren't meant for this plane of existence, and that because of the lack of our own fey nature, it is our body finally rebelling like the end of War of the Worlds where the Martians slowly died to the Earth's atmosphere Wait, to the small but Well, it's probably it. <laughs> are, are we gonna die? Uh, death comes for us all, Torbeck, and like uh, more of my flesh like slows uh, off. Uh, and I'd take my hand away, or my arm away, and my hand's still on your shoulder. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Um, hey, uh, You're about halfway through the line at this point. Uh, oh. <coughs> um, Keith, could you just cut off the line? Uh, cut off the you, line. We gotta find the bit through your foot. Uh, uh, people have been waiting all day. I, I can't cut off the line. Uh, okay. Alright, okay. keep sending them through. Okay, we're gonna form a posse. We're gonna form a posse, and that's how we're gonna utilize the 